M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel, AORARDV10 Scanner. How do we type in a airband frequency and then search? First thing you need to do is go into VFO mode. So we've turned it on, you've got the band A, band B. Okay, good job, we've got a spare battery, which I got from the, the airband device that Yacy sell for like half the price, but anyway. So what you do is go menu and make sure you select VFO, which is number one, or you could press enter. And then we're gonna do VFO A, enter. And then type in an airband frequency. So we're gonna go 133.850, enter. Okay, that's airband. Now we need to select the mode because at the moment it's in Yesu. Because the amazing thing about this radio is it will do DMR, D-star and fusion, no other, radio does that apart from the DV1 and there's an Alinka one that does it but you can't buy it so let's do mode so just press mode and we're going to go you could hold it down if you want for auto but we just want AM so we'll go back or forward with the arrow until we want till we get AM enter okay. you want to do the squelch just press here squelch button and then turn the bottom knob until you've Risen above the squelch, a bit more, there you go, enter. So, go back to where we were, VFO, enter also, look at that, I did it by accident, takes you A and B, look, A, B, A, B. We're doing the A band, which is AM, and we set it to 850, didn't we? So, 133.850, enter. AM. So the next thing is to, we're going to we want to set our step because at the moment if we change frequency it's going to step by the 20 kilohertz but we don't want that. We want it to be you know either I would say on airband. I tend to set to set five to be honest, but um, you've got the 8.33. So we'll go menu, enter VFO again, go to step, enter, and you have got. 8.33 there at the top for those that want that. I tend to set, I'm pretty sure it's five I tend to set. Oh, there's five kilohertz there, enter. So that's all your step. And now you can listen, but you can't scan from this point. You can listen to that frequency and you can save that frequency, but you can't scan from it. So if you want to scan, you have to set up what they call a scan bank. It's not like a ham radio or a CB type radio where you just, very straightforward with scanners you tend to have to put a bit of work in and create your banks or if someone if you're lucky someone sends you lots of you know a nice code plug let's call it and then you can load up lots of frequencies and this does have an sd card although th this device works without an sd card where some scanners don't and you can load up frequencies and import them into the radio in banks and groups as well but right now what we're going to do is have a look at the search bank option so we're going to go menu and then we're going to go to across to number four, which is the search option, and press enter. And now we need to create a bank. So we can search a bank now that we've already created, but if we're going to create a new one for Airband, we need to go across to number eight and press enter. And you've got this list now. The next thing we need to do is give the, you know, choose which bank number, because that's very important for finding it, we're going to be using for this. Let's just go enter. And we'll do, we'll, I'll just create a random one. We'll go 09. Okay, so we're now we're in bank nine. Now we need to put the start frequency. So we'll put in enter. We're going to go naught first, I think. No, we don't need to do the naught. So we're going to go enter and we just go 108.00 megahertz. Enter. And then, then the end search. So we're going to go, I'm just going to put in one. Oops, going, gone too fast there. Keep going down the list. Enter, and then go, I'm gonna put 140.0 megahertz. Enter. Then the mode, so we'll go, we can just, I think we can just turn it with that. So you want AM, you can do auto, but I'm gonna do AM. Then we've got the IF bandwidth, which I'm not gonna set, so we'll just go Enter. Leave that alone, and that's fine. Enter the step, so we can do that now if you want. So we'll do, there you are, five, five, enter. 
And I think that's all we need to do. And then we're going to do search parameter set. So that's basically a save. And remember, it's bank nine. So we go enter. So we go back to the, the sort of beginning screen. So now if we want to search, we go menu. Then go to search, enter. You can use the numbers. Then go to bank. And we're going to put in, we want to choose, sorry, I'm skipping past. So it's gone straight to, to that bank, but that's, which is zero, zero, but we wanted 09. So we go menu, enter, bank. Then we're going to turn to 09. We'll type in 09, that's what I mean. And look, we've gone to the bank that we've just created. So we, we can just type in a frequency and listen if we know it. Or if you want to do some scanning, you can create banks. And of course, it doesn't have to be airband. It could be anything that you're interested in. But right now, it's scanning the airband. And if we go outside and we can, you know, we can change the step if we want. We can change a few little parameters here. Um, you can get some aeroplanes. Or if you're like me and you love the fact that this radio would do things like DMRD style, watch this. We'll go menu, come out completely. So clear all together. And see the way it's writing it to the SD card, the, the, the bank that we just created. That's how I like that, the way it does that. So menu, enter, VFO, enter. So we're going to put in 431.550, enter. And that is my DMR. See if you can hear it. Now we need to change mode. So we just hold down mode, select auto. That would be... But I enjoyed... Um... Quite loud. You can actually you know the clicks with the volume. V E V A two. You can actually turn halfway through a click, and that's quite a handy tip because sometimes you need that. And look, and if I had my D Star hotspot on, it would select that as well. You know, it's automatically found DMR. So a lot of people do moan and complain about saying that these are too expensive, they're 900 pound, which is a lot of money, but it receives everything. That's the key thing. If it had a color screen and a waterfall, you could not beat this device. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, 73, all the best.